All right, so this is going to be another movie review. This one's called The Frog Prince. Uh, this is a rated G canon feature from 1986. Uh, it's a brother, Brothers Grimm fairy tale. Um, he did the first uh, part of it. I thought it was rather boring, actually. Um, the ending was good, though. Um, some of the, the the music sucked and the singing sucked. It it has um uh, the girl from Annie, whatever her name is, uh, the actress from Annie. Supposedly this is her only other movie. I hated Annie when it came out. All the ads and stuff. Oh, this is such a great movie. No, I refused to watch that as a young boy. Uh, She's got a 12-year-old whiny, squeaky voice, and it's quite annoying. Um, but the songs were good. I mean, uh, there's, for instance, there's one song called A Promise is a Promise, and they talk about friendship. and uh, So that was pretty cool. I mean, um, yeah, those are good virtues to have um, growing up as a kid. So kids who are watching this uh, definitely learn a lot of... Uh, virtues from uh, the little tale, fairy tale. Um, so if you don't know what the Frog Prince is about, um, neither do I. Uh, <laughs> the ending was a little confusing, but it was cool. Uh, kind of happy ending. Uh, she, basically, um, she, uh, this 12-year-old girl doesn't have any friends. Her sister is a bitch, and uh, so she um, she goes carrying around this lucky ball, and she bumps into this uh, man-sized frog uh, with with a goofy-looking costume, and um, so her evil sister, the older one, played by Helen Hunt, um, kidnaps the frog and uh, makes him shrivel up in. Uh, in a pit, locked up in a pit. Um, so she go she goes to save him. Uh, she pours water on him, and he comes to life. Then she kisses him, and he becomes human. Um, after that, I I really didn't understand what was going on. Um, so if you can explain it to me, or you've read the book, maybe uh, post it in the comment section. Because the movie didn't make sense. It was a happy ending, though, and uh, I enjoyed the ending. I thought the um, the themes were good. So uh, that's about it. Uh, I gave it three stars on Netflix. Later.